This is um, a portion of a reading from Isaiah chapter 43. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. You are precious in my sight and honored and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and from the west. I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up. And to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, who I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Bring forth the people who are blind, yet have eyes, who are deaf, yet have ears. Let them bring their witnesses to justify them. You are my witnesses, says the Lord and my servant who I, am who I have chosen so that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. I am the Lord declared and saved and proclaimed. When there was no strange God among you, you are my witnesses. I am God and also henceforth, there is no one who can deliver from my hand. For your sake, I will send you comfort. Thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters, who brings out chariot and horse, army and warrior. They lie down, they cannot rise. They are extinguished, quenched like a wick. Do not remember the former things or consider the things of old. I, and I would say, we are about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild animals will honor me for I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I have formed and found and brought into being. This is a passage that has been so important to me, and I have also been um, reflecting on it quite a bit this week, along with a really cool um, image that, uh, for those of you who might have been Catholic at one point, um, may know, and I was going to try to share it, and I'm just having a hard time finding the image on my computer, and we just had such a good experience with that song and slideshow, so I will send it out <laughs> um, this week and the I Spy. Um, but it's the image of Mary the Untire of Knots. Um, and it's a gorgeous image of Mary, who is believed to be the mother of Jesus. And she has this huge um, rope uh, that is tied up in knots that she is undoing. And above her is our angels who are, you know, sort of blessing her. And below her at her feet is a serpent. Um, who, um, when I read the story about the famous piece of art that was done by a German painter, 
um, that, uh, that image of the snake at her feet is about uh, the sin or the badness that is in the world. And here is Mary between the angels above her and the serpent below her, untying these knots. I've been holding on to that image this week as, long, as, as well as those words about God, or shall I say, our community doing a new thing. We are finding ourselves in much longer of a challenge and a crisis than we could ever have imagined when we first were told that we needed to stay at home. We are finding ourselves trapped between the angels that are giving us hope and relief and joy and grace and the serpent that is at our feet, that is causing us confusion, fear, death, and negative thinking. This, my friends, is quite an opportunity for us, isn't it? And I don't think that this is quite the first time that we've experienced this reality, maybe not in quite the same way as a pandemic. But we have found ourselves, as some people say, between a rock and a hard place. We have found ourselves making our way across the river with our tormentors behind us. We have found ourselves awake in the middle of the night, wondering when this will be over. We have found ourselves waking up in the morning, questioning, how did we get here? And we have found ourselves trying desperately to go to sleep at night, Wondering, when I wake up, will all of this just be over or have been just a bad dream? My friends, I think the invitation to us in this moment is to face our angels and to face our demons. The invitation in this moment is to recognize that the ways that we have always done things, the ways that we have always believed it would go, the ways that we wanted to be someone different than we maybe are, all of that will pass away. All of us can be washed free of those places where we doubted, where we couldn't figure out how to reach, where we didn't know how to ask and receive help, where we spoke with ill will towards another person in our family, in our congregation, in our community. This, this is a moment for us to find a new way. And particularly, I believe what I, a word I have to say today is you all have been through that space of the angels over you and the serpent below you seeking a leader, seeking a congregation, seeking a community of faith that fully lives in to the glory and the beauty and the desire for hope and goodness to rule the day. We have found each other. We are in this together. We might not always like it, we might not always be able to see only the positive and the goodness of what we have, 
we might stumble and fall. We might find ourselves uncertain and confused. And yet, and yet, just like Mary, who is untying those knots that are in her hands, we too can use our hands to untie the knots of pain, of suffering, of sadness, of doubt, of hatred, of vulnerability, of separation, and begin to see those knots as an opportunity for a new way of being, a new tapestry that is being woven inside of each and every one of us. And when we can shine that beauty into the world, more people will know and believe that we do not need to be stuck forever. A new day, a new dawn is coming. Every moment, every morning, every sundown, every time that you step into and out of the shower, every time you put another meal into the oven, every time that you go out to check your mail, every time that you put a mask on and go out into the world to grocery shop or to work or to meet with those you love. This, this is a new time and it's time for us to continue to do new things together. Amen and blessed be.